The Owen James Report is brought to you by Guardian Group Life Insurance Policies. Live secure, live easy. Of course, we all hope that our loved ones will always be safe. But just hoping won't protect your family. Which is why Guardian Group Life Insurance Policies are designed to take care of your family if anything should happen to you. So you can all feel a little more secure. Live secure. Live easy. International oil prices continue to fall. U.S. crude fell below $60 a barrel today, the first time in five years that it breached the psychologically important support level as oil markets extended this week's losses on oversupply concerns. New York Mercantile Exchange's front month West Texas Intermediate contract for U.S. crude settled down 99 cents or 1.6 percent lower at $59.95 per barrel, its lowest closing price since July 14, 2009. West Texas crude continued to slide in after-hours trading and was last down nearly 3 percent to $59.20 in electronic trading. The contract has lost almost 9% this week and roughly 45% from a June high above $107 a barrel. Over in Europe, benchmark Brent Blend fell by 1.6%, closing at $63.20 a barrel. Back home, will lower gas prices result in more Christmas spending or savings? That's the $64 million question. Tweet your responses to me at Owen James JA. The question again, will Jamaicans save or spend on consumer items the gains from lower gas prices? On the foreign exchange market, the Jamaican dollar weakened against the three regularly traded international currencies today. In fact, the benchmark U.S. dollar strengthened by three Jamaican cents, closing at a new record high average selling rate of $114.06. Both the Canadian dollar and sterling strengthened too. The Canadian dollar gained seven Jamaican cents, closing at $99.25, whilst the British pound sterling strengthened by 46 Jamaican cents to close at an average selling rate of $178.87. The licensed financial companies bought a total of 32.5 million US dollars, but sold 26.1 million, or 19% less than what they bought. On the Jamaican Stock Exchange, as key financial stocks, NCB and Scotia Group fell, so did the indices on a day of moderate activity which saw just over 1.2 million shares traded. The main JC index is down 987 points or 1.3 percent. 15 stocks traded with two advancing, eight declining and five holding firm. Winners were careers and proven investments. The losers included Caribbean Cement, Caribbean Producers, Lasco Distributors, NCB and Scotia Group, the day's big loser, down 5.4%. Now finally, the Fair Trading Commission's competition czar, uh, Dr. Kevin Harriot, says the Commission's findings into the row between Digicel and Lime will not be forthcoming until possibly within the first quarter of 2015. Dr. Harriot says such things took time, with 90 days being the duration of a previous inquiry. Speaking at a recent forum, on mergers and acquisitions, uh, Dr. Harriot also emphasized that the Commission's main remit was ensuring competition. Now, in a humorous close to her presentation at the same forum, uh, Digicel's head of legal and regulatory affairs, Gail Moss Solomon, alluded to her company as a sprat and her main rival as a whale. And that's the Owen James Report. Good evening. The Owen James Report is brought to you by Guardian Group Life Insurance Policies. Live secure, live easy.